All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just read two more pieces, and this is one of the last poems in the book, um, and, and sort of gives you, uh, I guess, maybe other, other things that I don't touch on that are also in the book, kind of this hints at, at some of those things. Um, and so this poem is uh, titled, um, Not Every, uh, no, Not Everything, sorry. Not Telling, Not Telling My Parents I'm a Convicted Felon While Visiting the Agnes Martin Exhibit at the Guggenheim. <laughs> There are lines here, thin lines, graphite lines, gray, black, blue, white lines, sometimes almost pink lines. One painting looks like a lineup marking heights like they always show in movies or on television. And there are shapes here and there, stark white, just an outline, a triangle, a circle. And we walk uphill, it's all uphill, a spiral. And the farther we go, the more it makes sense. The images, the lines, where they meet and where they don't. In our relationship to distance, how standing back creates a different image than up close. And they are enjoying themselves, my parents, older each time I see them, surprising me with their comments and insights and interest in an artist who doesn't just make pretty pictures. And in this bubble, nothing seems impossible. Nothing seems unspeakable. But Martin focused on the positive emotions, on happiness. Are we happy? My lawyer says when the charges are lowered after my six months, they will take my DNA, a state law, a swab of my cheek kept on file. He mentions matching cold cases like a TV show. My DNA, a combination of my parents held captive for all time in a space less clear than the grids before us or the wash of gray lines on her final painting at the top of the museum, where we must turn around and return to the beginning, which is now the exit. Yeah. All right, so I thought